Pete, it's great to have you here. How you doing? Good, wonderful. Now I understand uh, that you have prepared a UIU version for it was the night before Christmas for my president's holiday address. Is that correct? Excellent, excellent. Well, do you remember some things from the past that didn't turn out all that well when you gave me the thumbs up before? Yeah, I feel the same way, I feel the same way. So uh, in this case, I'd like to at least read a version of the twi Twas the Night Before Christmas. Let me, let me take a look at it, is that okay? All right, Pete, we're gonna do it again, but I'm telling you, this time I've said it in the past, but it's all on the line. If you don't get this one right, that's it. Hello everyone, I'm Bill Duffy, president of Upper Iowa University. I'm here with Pete the Peacock, and I'm here to read UIU's version of Twas the Night Before a UIU Christmas, written by Pete the Peacock. This better be good. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the campus, not a creature was stirring, nay a peacock here with us. With books set aside and jerseys hung with pride in hopes that the peacocks would be back soon to reside. The students now nestled back home in their beds with visions of snowstorms and canceled classes in their heads. It's Pete the peacock and me and my cat to finally settle down for a long winter's nap. Pretty good so far. When out on the oval lawn arose such a clatter, I sprang from the couch to see what was the matter. To the window I ran with the speed of the flash. I pulled my hamstring and then pulled up the shades. Really, Pete? The moon glowing on a blanket of new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eye should appear, but a choir of eight tiny peacocks singing so very clear. <laughs> With the handsome bird leader, so lively and quick, we knew in a moment it was Pete the Peacock and not St. Nick. The chorus they sang all sounding the same. I was excited to hear them all call UIU's location by name. Onward, Fayette, and locations throughout our country. Be proud. Connecticut, Illinois, Iowa, Kansas and Louisiana. Be loud. Mississippi, Oklahoma, Texas, and Wisconsin. Always on call. Online Zoom, self-paced and flexible learning for one and for all. And at that moment, there was a noise on the rooftop just above me. Where stands the green goddess? Whatever could it be? I grabbed my binoculars to see what I heard. And lo and behold, there was the image of a magnificent bird. Pete was dressed in game day gear from beak to feet. A chorus of peacocks supported him, sounding so very sweet and with great pride. He grabbed his megaphone and began to say, it's time to show our peacock pride with great news here today. <laughs> come one, come all. Our new year will be a ball. 50 years of UIU self-paced will celebrate the long haul. And to make sure we continue to meet all the needs Reducing UIU's Fayette tuition from 33K to 19K says it all. The good news continues for UIU and our student athletes in 2023. Since UIU will be moving from NSAC to GLVC. His feathers ruffled as they began to sing one last song, thanking everyone who keeps UIU successful and strong. And to all our donors who continue to support your alma mater, 
We are forever grateful to you and yours. And just like that, Pete had delivered the New Year's news. To all you I use family and friends, he knew. This Christmas, we will remember with much delight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you for all you do. All right, Pete. I think it went pretty good, but uh, a few spots there, a little weak on it. The hamstring thing, mm, not too sure about that. I don't know if you realize this. You talked a lot about yourself, but overall, I think it's, it's a good message, and it's going to be a great year. Go Peacock. I'll get back to work. <laughs>